my successful lions out there. I'm back. I come to y'all today, man, very humble, very thankful, first and foremost, for all the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys, you know, all those that are liking, sharing, commenting, you know, um, and all the subscribers, man. I appreciate you guys, man. We're going to go up and up and up and up. And I appreciate you guys um, witnessing the journey. You're going to see us, you know, at 100,000 subscribers, you know, in the future. Um, you know, we just one viral video away from reaching a pinnacle, you know, but I'm, I'm slow and steady and keep rising. You know, that's what it's about. Um, so if you want to see this great channel, um, be above and beyond the other channels, you know, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe, man, you know, tell your, you know, be a word of mouth. Let's get this tumbling, man, and, and just keep going up and up, you know, but I just want to greatly appreciate you guys, man, you know, um, and welcome, welcome. Um, today, very special, um, because like every other month, I do an episode, which is, uh, a book I read some scriptures from the Bible and you know we do a few um, you know 10 minute videos about a, a particular subject so I'm back today today we're gonna do rich dad poor dad rich dad poor dad all right I know a lot of people have seen this book whether you read it or not, I'm sure you you know about it at least. Um, but I'll do that. And of course, we're going to do some scriptures from the Bible. All right. But this episode, we're going to talk about semen retention saved my life. And I know I have a lot of, uh, the demographic is a lot of young men um and one of my biggest videos one of my last videos um on semen retention my one year journey um that i put out maybe a month ago or so and i wanted to just reiterate on you guys maybe i'll do one video a month about semen retention because people want to hear about it um it's been a, a real great journey and I want to speak about seven reasons how semen retention saved my life. And I jot down a few things because I don't want to hold up the flow of the video, but, um, and this is going to go in order. Some people, they do their videos, they say, ah, it's not in a particular order. This is in order, seven reasons how semen retention saved my life personally. Uh, number one, I'm going to start off with spirituality, man, got me closer to God. Um, and what I say by that, like I said in the last video, it's just like purity, you know, um, I keep, kept my spirit open to to hear God's voice of being pure and being a man of God, you know, and just walking amongst um, out here in the world of good deeds, evil people, whatever, but it has enlightened my spirituality and my heart for God, man. It got me seeking God a lot more. You know, I'm into the scriptures a lot more. I'm understanding things a lot more. Like I said, um, like if you was, it's one thing, God is here for the sinners um, to convert, but he has to have loyal soldiers, loyal vessels here like myself that people can see and he sends them to me to spread this word of God, 
You see what I mean? So I'm just trying to be a pure vessel here for the Lord to work through. If you getting high, it's only a certain amount of um, purity in you. If you fornicating with a whole bunch of women, being a player, cheating on your wife, you know, robbing, stealing, committing crimes, murder, you know, all this different folly and wickedness, you, and on top of that, like, you, you're trying to read your Bible and get closer to the Lord, it's not going to happen like that, you know, um, so semen retention has helped me get closer to God. You know, and that's number one on my list. Number two, mental clarity. Wow. And like I said in the previous videos or whatever, it could be my sobriety that helps, but the mental clarity that I have, um, and some people say they go through brain fog or whatever on semen retention, I haven't experienced that. All I've experienced is a clear mind and a, a tunnel vision on this path, you know, uh, to greatness. You know, the, the mental clarity is I don't, I don't have headaches, I don't have sickness, I don't have um, very, you know, I'm still a man, so if people push me to the limit, yeah, I might get angry or whatever, but I get over it really quick. I don't have like a, a, a angry uh, person, man. You know, I'm very happy, outgoing, um, but yes, I'm a man. I got testosterone, so it, of course, people push you to that limit and people, if if someone's threatening your life, you do what you have to do as a man. But I'm saying someone cut me off uh, outside on the road. I used to have crazy road rage, you know, years ago. But now I'm just like that. Ah, I just laugh it off. I might say something to myself and I'm on to the next. I don't like hold grudges or anything like I used to do in my past. Now it's just mental clarity. A to Z tunnel vision on what I have to achieve. And to piggyback on that, my third one was goals became easier to achieve. Like off, like everything that I'm, I'm mentioning, like uh, spirituality, closer to God, mental clarity, then goals became easier to achieve off that piggyback of those last two that I just mentioned. Goals became that tunnel vision it's allowing me to see things through the end. A lot of stuff in my past, I would start it and not finish it. I would, like, I, I, let me repeat that. I would start it and not finish it. You know, and a lot of people have this problem, and that might be because they're not on semen retention. You know, you, your goals become more clearer than just chasing after women, lusting, you know, and sinning, you know, um, when you step back and you have more time to yourself, you're plotting on different things, um, positive things and positive outlooks, positive goals that can help you achieve to get to the next level. You know, it's, it's not an easy thing, but on this journey, it definitely helps being on semen retention. Your goals are very easier to achieve because you have that tunnel vision. You have that relationship with the Lord and the Lord wants to see you win. But the Lord only wants to see you win if you're doing the laws and statute of commandments that he provided for you, you know, and you're really, um, trying to achieve those things and it's coming from the heart you're not just doing it to say oh, okay i'm doing it to 
try to trick the Lord out of uh, blessings. No, you're doing it because your heart is pure and you want to do it. You want to be a warrior for the kingdom. You want to be um, pure. You want to have this mental clarity. You know, so that's number three. Goals become easier to achieve. All right. The next one is to piggyback off that goals become easier to achieve is because you're fearless. It's all going down the line, guys. It's all going down the line. You become fearless. You know, after you, uh, your, your sobriety, you know, you become closer with the Lord. You have mental clarity. Your goals are becoming easier to achieve. You feel, you know, you you <laughs> you feel uh, fearless. You know, being a warrior for the kingdom, you're fearless. You know, you're a successful lion out here in the wilderness. You're just fearless. So when you out here in the world and you're moving and shaking and you making deals or you um, meeting people, you don't have that that timidness. You can look someone straight in the eyes and they can see that you're fearless. You know, you're closing deals, you're closing um, the big goals that are crossing off your list, whatever those goals may be. Like, I'm gonna share one goal with you guys um, because uh, I sprouted young, right? My height. So I didn't know a lot of people with swimming pools and stuff like that. So after like, elementary school, all my schools, which were public schools, didn't have swimming. So I had to, you know, and I, I go to beaches, I go to sandy beaches. You see me in Miami, I've been in several, California, Malibu, all these several places that I've been in. But I didn't have to like swim. So now, one of my biggest goals, I'm taking classes to swim. I'm taking classes to learn how to swim. And I used to, before I, you know, got on this journey, I used to be scared to see someone's remarks as an adult going to relearn how to swim. Even though it's me, I'm paying the money. Um, I'm paying the money to learn these lessons, but I was afraid, like, ah, I, I need to learn how to swim again, you know, and uh, learning different languages, you know, that's on my list, you know, and I'm learning Spanish right now. So I became fearless of nothing. I don't care how high it is or, um, how stupid people may think it is. No, it's one of your goals and you should achieve it. So become fearless. Out here with wolves and bears in this business and you coming in, you a lion. They don't see it, but your spirit is shining and you're roaring. You're roaring, you know, to achieve massive success. So yeah, that's the next one and you become fearless. And to piggyback on that is because you got that glow, baby. You got that glow. I know you see it. You got that glow. That skin glistening, sh face shining, you know. Lift up, you know. You got that glow about you. You, you walk in the room you know, you shine and show on the pearly whites and your, your, your eyes are white. People can see that you, you know, sober and you just have that, that aura about you and they, they ready to close the deal with you because you got that glow. They're ready to close the deal with you. You know, because who wouldn't want to be with somebody or do business with somebody that's electrifying. You're electrifying. You know, I've had people say that to me, like, wow, your aura is like rubbing off on me. Like this plan is next to me. 
I'm getting energy from the plant, you know, on top of my, my already energy. And then you rub shoulders with somebody. It's like, you know, when you, you rub the carpet or whatever, and you, you touch something and it twinkles, like that, that's how it feels when you're on this journey. And people want to do business with people like that. People that are fearless and have that glow. All right? They, they understand it. They understand it, man. They, they might not even tell you because they're in fear of it, but they they, they don't even know why. They, under, they, they want to know why, so they want to rub shoulders with you. What? Why, is it, why, am I, why do I keep saying yes to this guy? He says he wants this amount. He says he wants this salary. He says um, he wants this type of office. He says he wants uh, this type of 401k match or he wants uh, this type of business dealing. Why am I saying yeah? Everything he says, uh, I say yeah to him. Because you got that glow, all right? And the same transpires with women. So the next one, like I said, everything is in order, all right? Everything's in order, guys. Spirituality, become closer to God, all right? Your mental clarity, your goals become easier to achieve because you're fearless and you got that glow. And next, you got that glow, you know, and the same way about business, now women want to know why, who is this guy? So you have, you become, you have genuine relationships with women now. It's not just about um, the pokey pokey, right? The hokey pokey. You know, it's not just about getting them in bed. You know, it's not just about stooping to your lower level it's about up here all right and it's not about even love it's just about up here and have genuine relationship with people i know business women who make well over six figures who are doing good business or who have connections that can help you all right but if you just in that woman's life trying to um, get her in bed, you know, or she got a situation or a boyfriend or whatever, and you trying to just sneak in and be sneaky, and 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 uh, your your whole thing was about doing business, but your behind the scenes, no, you you really want to sleep with this woman, you don't really want to do business. She's gonna be like. You know, some women might end up sleeping with you even though they have a boyfriend or a husband. But I'd rather just do business. The respect level is gonna be a lot higher, all right? And if she's in a marriage or a relationship, I don't care how good she looks, let her finish her relationship, all right? She might have a sister that's single, or a friend that's single, all right? Go that route, okay? Focus on doing good business, having genuine relationships with women, all right? Some men say, uh, men shouldn't have relationships with women. Women can't have relationships with men. Why, why? I used to be one of those people until I got on this Seema retention journey. Why can I have a relationship with this other other sex? You know, why? Why can't I? All right? When you stop lusting, yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right? There's brothers and sisters who are, have good relationships. There's male cousins, male female cousins who have good relationships. So what's the difference between a male and female who are just cool and cordial? I wouldn't even say friends. You're just business partners, you're associates, 
you know, um, on some occasions you guys might go out as a group, go uh, do some fitness training, do some business, you know, and stuff like that. Like, why can't you? Okay, if you have, let's say you have um, a, a fitness club, right? And a female wants some training. You can't have a relationship, a, a working relationship. You, you're going to have to want to sleep with this woman. No, get your money. Get your money. Stop mixing business with pleasure. That's the problem. Um, when you're not on semen retention, you're thinking lower level. You're not thinking up here. You're not thinking ching ching. You're thinking bang bang. You're not thinking ching ching. You're thinking bang bang. No, cut that out, man. Get your money, okay? And lastly, like I just gave the uh, a scenario of you being a fitness trainer with a woman. Your gym gains, number seven, your gym gains go crazy. You have so much energy because you're not bang bang, you know, so you, you leave it all out in the gym or you're outside and you leave it all out there, all right? Um, you have so much energy and so much gains that you're putting in, all right? You have so much gains that you're putting in, baby. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Cut up in every which way. Cut up in every which way. You feel me? Look at that. The muscles popping out of everywhere. I don't know where they popping out of. They popping out of everywhere. Your gym gains go up, baby. Your gym gains. All right? Um, whatever you want to do on this journey, you can succeed at it. All right, I can go up to 100. This is only seven, because I don't want to make the video too long. But your gym games, man. You know, um, like I said in one of my videos, I come from being 360 pounds. Now I'm down to 173, all right? I weighed myself yesterday. I usually weigh myself every Saturday or every other Saturday, just to make sure. Um, but I was 175, right? Um, and probably today I'm back to 173. I don't know, but it, it, it it's just a little water weight. That's all it is. But I dropped almost 200 pounds, but ever since my semen retention journey, I haven't been this cut up. I haven't been this cut up even before. like. When I started the semen retention journey, I was um, 195 or so, 197. So now I cut off 25 pounds on this journey, you know, hitting the right areas, you know, and not sometime when you're on that journey, you know, you, uh, with, with women, you're out, you're eating the wrong things, you're staying up late, you're, you're depleting yourself over and over, um, and you're not, your body's not getting the right nutrients, all right, because you're depleting yourself. You're depleting your seed, man, and you're not getting the right nutrients you need to grow. You're not getting the right nutrients you need to grow, to grow. All right, to get toned. You know, you're giving all that up for 20 minutes, 30 minutes at the most. Come on, come on guys. All right, so is it really worth it? I don't think it's worth it. So I'm gonna leave it there. Those are my top seven. Spread the word, keep your seed in. Follow this journey. I don't know how long I'm gonna go. It's been 14, 15 months. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm really trying to stop counting, but for purposes for these videos, I have to keep reminding myself. But I'm living on a like I really don't care 
type of vibe of how many days it's been, all right? Um, like I said, I have massages for women. I give massages to women, all right? Last night, I was laying next to some buns, all right? Buns just, just out, all right? <laughs> <laughs> buns just out, okay? Buns is just all around, man. It's, it's summertime, so I got my shirt off. I got, you know, I'm not fully dressed. And of course, I don't want a lady friend to feel she got to be fully dressed to walk around. So buns is out, everything's out. And everything's just normal, man. You're chilling. She might sit in your lap, y'all chilling, y'all talking, vibing, watching a movie or, you know, um, talking, you know, listening to some music or something and just vibing, you know, it don't have to be just penetration. Like I said, man, it's all about the mental. It's all about the mental, man. And being on this journey, man, um, I've never had so many women after me at one time that I can think of besides like my high school days, you know what I mean? So, and I'm not telling you guys to do it because of that. Like I said, chasing after women or women attraction should be the least of your uh, worries on this journey. But it is there because you finally become a strong man true lion all right so they realize that and they want that but you got to be real to yourself and say no nah, I'm on this journey I'm not looking back until I achieve certain things that I want to achieve and if you're still by my side you'll reap the benefits of those but if if she's lusting and she gotta go do what she gotta do. Let her go do what she gotta do. Or if you feel you can't trust her, don't have her around. But in order to continue to feel, you know, manly, I like women around me. You know what I'm saying? I like women around me, you know what I mean? So um, those who are first on their journey, you might not wanna do that. Or if you don't have the restraint to do that, I wouldn't do that. You know, or if you feel just because you have like an erection or whatever that you have to do something, then I wouldn't do that. You know, if you feel, you know, having buns walk around your place, you know, just out buns walk around your place, honey buns walk around your place you feel you don't have the, the security in yourself to be like, nah, um, the restraint, then hey, don't do that. Continue on the journey another way. You know, meet women out. You know, you can do that. Um, but yeah, those are my seven. We're gonna come back with a new episode. And like I said, we're doing a book today, all right? All my successful lions out there, stay up, stay shining, stay smiling, and shine on them, man. Shine on them. How semen retention saved my life.